Hi, this is Laura Homan, Quality Assurance Director with Straight Score. Today we will focus on printing score sheets. It's time to log in. Once your score sheets start coming into shoot operations, you will want to print those scores so the shooters have an opportunity to review them for accuracy. The size you choose to print will depend upon the space you have available and the paper size that your printer can accommodate. In order to print a score sheet, you want to go to the scoring menu and then select print score sheets. You'll have to do this using the hamburger icon. Now you choose the desired event. Notice that you have three choices within paper size, letter, legal, and tabloid. Then you also have a section to the right which identifies starting squad and then number of sheets. We'll take a closer look at the latter section after we understand the paper sizes. The first paper size option is letter, four squads per sheet. Letter size is typically eight and a half by 11 inches. Select this option and click on print. This is a popular size for clubs to print score sheets as all printers typically can print any document on letter size paper. In addition, the score sheet is printed landscape orientation. This means that the short side or the eight and a half inch side of the paper is at the left. The downside of choosing this size is that letter size is the smallest of the three sizes. This choice could very well be difficult for shooters to see if they're unable to get within close proximity of the printed score sheet. In order to close out of this view, click on the X next to preview report. Let's try the next option, which is legal, four squads per sheet, and click on print. Legal size paper is eight and a half by 14 inches. As you can see, this is a great option to display scores for the second hundred of a 200 singles event. But remember, your printer must be able to accommodate this size paper. Again, let's close the preview and take a look at the final. The last size is tabloid, where you get 10 squads per sheet. So let's select that and print. Tabloid paper is 11 inches by 17 inches. This size paper can only be printed on a wide format printer, such as an Epson Workforce model. You'll notice that this size prints in portrait orientation. Portrait means that the long side or the 17 inch side is going to be at the left. So if we scroll down, we'll see the 10 squads per page. Let's close that screen. Now, let's say that you've decided you want to go with letter size and you want four squads per sheet. And we'll also say that the first eight score sheets have come into the building. Of course, we've double checked them and scores have been entered. So what would be the starting squad and what would be the number of sheets? Well, if squads one through eight have come into the building, that would be starting squad one and we would want two sheets. One through four would appear on one sheet and five through eight would appear on the second sheet. Best practice is that when score sheets are printed, you keep an eye out for missing sub-events. It's very easy to look down the scores columns to see if there's a zero anywhere. Finding a missing sub-event before scores are posted is always a great find.
Let's close this screen. Let's take a look at tabloid, for example. This time, we're going to say that the first 35 squads have come into the building, we've proofed them, entered them, and the score sheets are ready to be printed. Starting squad would be one, and the number of sheets this time would be four. And let's see why. Even though your printer may not accommodate the 11 by 17 inch paper, you can still print this particular document on 8.5 by 11. Obviously, the scores would be much smaller. The first sheet is 1 to 10. The next is 11 to 20. 21 to 30 and then 31 through 40. If we were going to actually print, you would click on the printer icon and depending upon what was last printed, you would select the printer that you choose and then you would choose, in some cases, more settings, pick the paper size, if I actually had my 11 by 17 paper, I would scroll down and find that. Notice that my printer does not accommodate that size, so I'm going to print this on letter size. The last thing is scale. If you click on the drop down for scale, you'll see that one of the options is fit to paper. This is always a good idea to choose and then you would click on print to send this document to the printer. I'm going to cancel because I want to show you one other thing you could do. Anytime you're on a print preview screen, you'll see a drop down arrow for download. You can download and save this document anytime that you choose. It doesn't have to just be score sheets. It can be any document that has a preview. Let's go ahead and close. And that is how simple it is to print score sheets. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments or contact us via the club dashboard. Additional resources are available in the video description below. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. Consider subscribing to see when we post new tutorials and hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new content. Thank you for watching.